Yo, yo, what is up, guys? Welcome to Trippy Commentaries. Thanks for checking out the episode. I'm RJ. This video is going up on April 1st. And even though I'm not going to get you with any April Fool's jokes here at the channel, it looks like Rockstar got us here in Red Dead Online as they added snow. What is this about, guys? So today we're going to go to the Sisica Penitentiary. I wanted to show it to you, but I can't even see through the fog. I'm sure most of you know that the penitentiary is right there. We cannot get there in online. If you try, you will black screen and they'll transport you into Sandini. So it's off limits. Now you can get there in single player. That's where you catch one of the legendary fish. But for some reason, Rockstar is keeping us from exploring the penitentiary in Red Dead Online. But we have a method. I'm going to show you how to do it. And in this episode, we're going to go look at the penitentiary. It's pretty obvious why Rockstar does not want us to get there. Much love, guys. Hope you all are doing good in social isolation. We have a live stream coming up later on tonight. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification button. It'll let you know whenever we go live. So we're going to start off by doing the legendary bounty mission for Cecil Tucker. That's the only way we can get there. Here we are at Fort Brennan. Now, instead of going inside the fort where they try to light you on fire, you just got to keep going past, go into Saint Denis and search for a boat. If you still try to take your horse to the island, I think they still black screen you and you have to restart the mission. So instead, go into Saint Denis, try to find a boat, and then you can go right over to the island. We'll explore it in a moment. I do have September with me. I was thinking I would need her help, but now that I think about it, you can do the legendary bounty missions in solo. So you should have no problem doing it by yourself. We're going to make it. I can see the island. Now in story mode, what happens is John gets arrested and sent to the penitentiary. So it's up to Arthur as well as Sadie to bust him out. They have to get a hot air balloon. Then a shootout ensues. But now we finally get to come in online mode to the Cisco Penitentiary. Man, this place is huge. And we get the added benefit of seeing it covered with snow. Not too bad. So one thing that I notice is if you're on the island in online, sometimes you'll have boats crash into the island. We had a huge tugboat beach itself. It was pretty trippy. So first you have this massive open field. You will notice that they have different uh, officers on patrol and on guard out here, despite the fact that you're not supposed to get out. Okay, so you got the barn. It is closed. Keep going past that. During the story mode, I believe John and the other prisoners are doing some work out in the fields here. You got this hut. Let's see if it opens up. Okay. Just for scenery, I suppose. A lot of guard towers. Now, as you approach the wall, you'll see the gate entrance. This is where John comes out. Like I said, you got the shootout. And he gets out right through here. But it is locked. So you may be thinking that you cannot get inside the penitentiary. There's no way. But there is a way because they left the side door open. So you can come around here. Looks like you got a little hut on the uh, shore right there. Okay, that's kind of interesting. And then here's the side door. Luckily, they didn't lock this one and you can get right inside. You can see cannons. I think there might be one game mode in online where you go outside the prison, maybe in the fields and ride around on the horses, something like that. It's like an archery challenge, but nothing that lets you get to look around like this. So we got probably the warden's house right here. Anybody home? Got the animation. I'm trying to open up the door, but it's locked. In Red Dead Redemption 1, I feel like there was a lot more interiors, you know, more random places you can go inside, where a lot of locations in Red Dead 2 are just straight up locked. I feel like Rockstar originally had plans to let us go inside places like this, but clearly this place is unfinished. So you can climb up all the way to the roof, See if we can get a better look around. Go all around the walls. Now here's where you can tell that there's something missing. Look at that. You can now see why Rockstar made it so hard to get here. Got a water tower right there. This reminds me of the one from the penitentiary in Grand Theft Auto V, the Bolingbroke Penitentiary. Kind of has this same exact central hut, you know, central tower. But this one just keeps on going down. I believe there's a doorway on the bottom. And that's where you can basically just jump to your death. Where is it? On the other side. Here it is. It opens up. And there goes September. Nice knowing you. All right, let's try it ourselves. Now, if you do fall down, what you're going to want to do is level out the camera. Okay, and then you should respawn 
you can do that as many times as you want now there's an entrance way to a basement as well on this side this is the opposite side of the island so it looks like there was supposed to be an underground layer to the prison as well and once again rockstar just never finished it this game was delayed three times so you could tell that there's probably big plans that were mined for this location but we'll never get to see them unless there's some sort of out of nowhere dlc we'll never get to the basement of the prison try to explore for yourselves guys we did it in a live stream much love to flamingo tyler and many others who helped me out with this i gotta say seeing this place with the full snow it's pretty amazing i feel like red dead online could get so much better if they can give us an expansion maybe add mexico the prison let me know what y'all think rockstar we have a request let us get to prison maybe if we get a high enough bounty something like that they lock us up in prison we have to break out maybe have one of our you know one of our friends i could have september bust me out of prison in red dead online i mean we had to bust out micah so i want to bust out members of the trippy fam i hope you guys enjoyed the video come visit sissica penitentiary we've tried so many different methods to try and get over here and finally we found out that really the only way you can do it is if you start the cecil tucker legendary bounty mission and then come over and explore it for yourself much love guys make sure to keep good vibes throughout social distancing do me a massive favor guys hit the like button it helps out the video stay tuned for the live stream later on tonight we can catch on fire in the snow adios muchachos as always make sure to stay trippy my friends y'all come back now you hear